Hello, cat lovers. It's Doc Krieger back after two weeks to welcome you to this week's Q&A, civilian testing. This is such an often hotly contested subject, sometimes viciously dividing the market. Recently, we've seen the debate between fans of Pew Science versus the Sound Summit, manufacturers on forums talking about new competitors destroying market share, and the ongoing undercurrent against Big Silencer, continuing to support manufacturers with known production or warranty issues in the name of profit. Is any of this true? Is it partially true? And what does the civilian user really need to know and why? The civilian market's interest in firearm suppressors has grown over the years. While some argue that the basic testing standards are sufficient, there's a compelling argument for the need for more technically advanced suppressor testing for the civilian market user. Unlike the military or law enforcement, civilian users have a wide range of applications for suppressors, from hunting to sport shooting to personal protection. More advanced testing allows civilian users to better tailor suppressors to specific needs. It is generally understood by the civilian market that sound measurement is a core imperative of suppressor construction. Therefore, is a basic test to measure peak sound reduction in a controlled laboratory environment enough for the modern civilian user? Or should the civilian user have access to more advanced testing of the entire sound signature, including tone, frequency, and pressure acoustics over varying parameters such as narrow and large volume rooms, which can provide a more comprehensive view of how effective a suppressor is in a range of real-world environments? But is sound measurement simply enough to tell suppressors apart? What about simple environmental conditions, where suppressors may perform differently in various conditions? For example, humid versus dry, cold versus hot. Or what about material longevity, where basic testing might not fully assess how long a suppressor lasts or how it wears over time? Civilian confidence, as with any product, is built around the easily understood concept that the more they know a suppressor has been rigorously tested and meets the highest standards, the greater their confidence. As technology evolves, so too does the potential for suppressor performance. Advanced testing by third parties and manufacturers drives innovation by setting higher benchmarks for manufacturers to achieve and can pave the way for a more mature and competitive market. Manufacturers that meet or exceed these advanced standards can command higher prices for their products, promoting economic growth in the industry. But this requires manufacturers to always be truthful to civilian users and when money is on the table, that's not always easily said and done. Technical suppressor advancement has allowed civilian users access to suppressor products that don't need to have been used by the military to be relevant or even superior. Certain popular military suppressors are in some cases 10-year-old technology today. Are they still as good as a 2023 competitor? While basic testing standards might be adequate for some applications, the diverse needs of the civilian market warrant a more comprehensive approach. Adopting technically advanced suppressor testing standards can ensure safety, efficiency, and reliability, benefiting both civilians and manufacturers. But should these standards be constructed by the industry itself? Rarely has it ever been successful where a test or regulation system constructed by a manufacturer or retailer is ever sufficient or policed properly. These two parties are codependent. They cannot survive or grow without the other. When revenue is at stake, are they more or less likely to want to support the highest technical standards in actuality, or rather give the perception they do because sales mean business? Point in case is Pew Science versus certain manufacturers and retailers recently engaged in the Sound Summit project. The narrative was that Sound Summit was another data service for the consumer. Is this not true? No. In theory, it is civilians receiving data. The plan of Sound Summit is to record data and release it to the civilian market to create another Pew Science type widely accepted standard for civilian users. The larger question is, this basic data or advanced data? And does anyone involve profit from this data? And if they do, is there even anything wrong with this? In Kat's opinion, suppressors today are used more than ever before, with civilians being more knowledgeable. Therefore, the data collection for civilians must be more advanced than ever. It must be meaningful to the full application of the suppressor, not singular points. A suppressor designed for extremely low sound is unlikely to be viable for safe fire rates of fire, unless it's technically superior. But who tests and makes those claims? Ultimately, the choice of suppressor testing standards falls to the civilian user. Do they really care about true performance and longevity, or is reasonable performance at a cheaper price more attractive? 
Does single sound results in a laboratory mean more than sound in real world scenarios? If it does, civilian users will purchase with manufacturers where they feel this type of focus on technology and performance is most abundant, or they won't and will be happy enough to follow brand marketing.